Well, hello and welcome to Gutzler Man. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is your host, Gutzler Man. And uh, I'm not driving, I'm in a parking lot because it's raining and, um, you know, I'm trying to listen to my baseball team play baseball, but they're in a rain delay and I'm here to pick up my kids from school. Uh, well, I'm not here to pick them up, but I'm, that's what I'm doing out. And um, it's really raining. Let me, sh let me show this. You know what, literally, wow, that's, that is something up. Literally, right when I was about to show you that it was raining, like the rain started like slowed down. I don't know if you heard that on my window, but it, it slowed down. So here's, well, this is just regular rain now, but it was pouring, oh my goodness. I had to actually pull over into a parking lot because it was pouring so hard. So I can start driving now, but I'm gonna finish this YouTube video. <laughs> so uh, earlier today, I did a podcast on driving. And I, I believe, I think that I'm gonna maybe do it. I don't know, maybe make, I don't know how short or long this YouTube is gonna be, but I, drivers, okay. That's all I got to say and you're probably shaking your head. I, all right, I, I'm a driver and I do things to make people mad. I know that, but I don't, There, there's only a few times in my life where I had to cut someone off in order to do something, uh, that's because of long rush hour lines that I was just not going to get over. And I'm not making excuses. I was at fault. I cut them off. I'm, I'm going to start by by telling my faults. You know, I, I cut people off. I did that. That was my fault. And I also um, kept someone from pulling in when they needed to get in like the road was cut off and they needed to get over and I, I wouldn't let them in. That's because I, well, I'm not gonna make excuses. I just, f fact is that I did it and it was my wrong, my bad. Um, if I could see that person again, you know, uh, I would apologize and tell them that I was in the wrong and that I was heated, but that doesn't give me the right to do that. So, I mean, I've done things before I've actually I don't know have you ever been stopped at a stoplight now let, okay here's here's the issue I bet I was stopped at a stoplight I had to make a left-hand turn so I was in left-hand turning lane all right and the car that I was driving at the time was a 2015 Dodge Dart it was a 2015 Dodge Dart all right so uh, I'm the first car in this turn lane and the light literally went through five cycles. And what I mean by cycles is that it never gave me the green arrow to turn. It went from traffic going, you know, this way, traffic turning over on the other side, you know, and then it it just kept going around. You know how if, if you get to a red light, then you just wait your turn and eventually it'll turn green for you to turn in the cycle rotation, but mine never did it. So I, literally, literally there were cars behind me honking, whatever, but the light in front of me never turned green. It constantly stayed red. And eventually I, I had to go and make a left-hand turn because I, I couldn't get over in this lane because there were, there were cars in this lane, always moving cars. And if they weren't moving and their light was red as well, then it was, they were stopped cars and I couldn't get over. So I kept, I, I mean, I just had to go cut tra traffic off. I cut traffic off. I'm not going to lie, but I had to go. I had to just go in order to go. And, um, I don't know. Have you ever been stuck in a situation like that? Like, I don't know what the deal was. I waited literally about five minutes, seriously about five minutes and went through five cycles before I just went ahead and went. And that was my fault. If there was an accident, it would have been my fault. I do understand that, but I didn't know what I was supposed to do in a situation like that. So here's the deal. Why do, why do we as people feel like when we get behind the wheel of a car that we have the right to just um, be invincible? If we, you know, there's so many times that I've been on an inter international highway where the speed limit was like 60, 70, and cars are passing me like I'm not even moving at all. 
like I'm parked. And not to mention people pulling out in front of me, not to mention people, you know, getting on my tail. And I mentioned it in the, in my podcast that, um, pickup trucks and big diesel trucks are notorious for doing this from in, in my opinion on driving is that they'll get behind me and they'll they'll turn on their brights they'll turn on their they'll flash their lights you know they'll just get so close to me their front bumper will be just a hair length away from my back bumper and they'll have you know they'll feel the need to flip on their bright lights and at the same time, like I know I have, you know, I could just get over and let them go and then get back over into my lane. I can do that. That is an option that I have. An option that they have is to just go around me. Like it's it's not that big of a deal to just, if I'm not driving the speed limit that you want me to drive, then go around me. Pickup trucks do the exact same thing. I understand that big diesel trucks have a load that they have to drop off. Money is time. And I know that, I, I, I used to know a truck driver, someone that drove a truck. And money is time, money is time. Every, every minute that's wasted behind someone that's driving slower than what you want to drive is wasting time, I understand that. But <clears throat> go around them, go around me, just go around me. I'm gonna continue to probably drive the speed limit I'm going, right? So just go around me. And pickup trucks the same way. I mean, just because you're driving an F-150, F-250, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's a Dodge Dart, I mean, excuse me, Dodge Ram or something. Uh, maybe it's that, but just go around me and we could avoid all that hassle of you trying to flip your lights and try to make me do something that I probably won't do, knowing that you want me to do it. And that's how we are as people. If we know that someone wants you to do something like drive faster, then we're more liable to slow down. I've had that happen to me before and I've done it too. So I know it's it's out there, people do it. So the Bible, the Bible scripture that I could bring into this is do unto others as you want them to do unto you. That Bible scripture and also the, the Bible scripture of love your neighbor as you love yourself. And I bring those two Bible scriptures into this situation because do unto others as we would have them do unto us is we don't want anybody to get behind us and flash their lights and drive where they're basically kissing our bumper, their front bumpers kissing our back bumper, right? We don't want that. And also loving the neighbor as you love yourself will help you also slow down and understand that maybe there's a situation going on. I don't know their situation they got to get to the hospital they're you know they're not feeling well at all their their legs having a chilly horse i've had that before while i was driving in my lifetime i've had i've been on a highway and had a chilly horse that's not fun it's it, you know you got to deal with the chilly horse at the same time as trying to stay in your lane without hitting someone so it's it's you know maybe a spider i've, I've talked to people that had spiders jump on them from just out of nowhere inside their car so then they just act a fool and their car's all over the roads. Like I, I'm arachnophobic, so I understand that part of it. But also at the same time, you don't have, you know, you don't have to do that stuff. You can slide over and go around, go around someone. That's what I mean by slide over. Just get over. I said it the wrong way, but get over, pass someone up, get back into your lane, go the speed you want to go. You don't, you don't have to just stay behind the person that's driving slower than you because they're probably not going to go any faster than what they're going. As a matter of fact, if they change speed at all, they're probably going to go slower because that's what people do. And, you know, treat others as you want to be treated. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, wow, time flies. I'm already at almost 10 minutes into this video, so I wanna thank you for letting me come on here and rant and rave. Thank you, um, because it helps me too. It helps me realize that, you know, if anything, if they're just not getting over, I can get over and let them pass me and then get back over in my lane. Like, it's really not that big of a deal when you start rationally thinking about it. 
we're all on the highway together. We all got a reason to be on the highway because we want to get somewhere, whether it's to work, whether it's somewhere to eat, or whether it's to go to a friend's house. Like, there's a reason why we're on the highway, right? We all have a reason. And my reason is not any better than your reason. Your reason's not any better than my reason. We're just all sharing the highway. So I can take it upon myself to try to move over and let you go. However, you can do the same thing, right? So we're kind of at a stalemate here, <laughs> you know, so. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you for letting me take this time and love you guys. And until next time, bye-bye.